yeah, we've been here pretty much every day. Jillian's two boys don't want to go anywhere but Snoqualmie's new skate park. They both got skateboards for their birthdays. It's not the ramps or the rails that make this skate park stand out. It's the mandatory helmet policy, something that came as news to Jillian. I didn't know. I mean, we always say it for our kiddos, right? Like everybody knows you should be wearing a helmet. This is the update. Yeah. Police Captain Nick Almquist has had to show skaters the new ordinance since it went into effect in June. Helmets are required. Pads and safety gear are strongly recommended. By law, officers can now issue tickets or even confiscate someone's board or bike if they're not wearing a helmet. So far, though, it's just been warnings and conversations for violating. Do you really want a $35 ticket, you know, or do you want to just uh, enjoy the park with the park rules? I was a little concerned that some people might say, geez, do you have to be the nanny state and social engineer all of our behavior? Mayor Matt Larson feared the feedback when he heard about the proposal to extend the city's existing helmet law for all bikers, scooter riders, and skaters from public streets to the new park. But he says the reaction has been mostly positive. One mother went on Facebook showing the helmet her son was wearing because of the new law, and he was not hurt. If we're hearing a couple stories, you can probably assume for every one we hear, there's probably 10 we don't. How did you hurt yourself? Skateboarding. 19-year-old Aiden Schellings was not wearing a helmet when he crashed on his skateboard at Green Lake, where helmets are only recommended. His family hopes Aiden's story will inspire cities to implement laws, or at least change the public's perception about helmets. It's really hard to change a culture with an extreme sport. But we're changing the culture here in Snoqualmie anyway. Aiden's crash had nothing to do with Snoqualmie's new ordinance, but folks here hope it, along with Aiden's story, will get more bikers and skaters to wear helmets everywhere. You've been wearing them since you were tiny. Keep on wearing them. So. Hopefully we can make it stick when they get to teenagers because that's when all hands off, right? Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.